Ken Cuccinelli is uh, the head of the Never Back Down Super PAC. He joins us live. Ken, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. My pleasure. So you're, for, for the folks at home, you're sort of the big money group behind Ron DeSantis right now because he doesn't have an official campaign apparatus. So you're doing much of the, the fundraising and a lot of the talking for him as well. C can you, can you, and you were a former Trump administration official, by the way. Can you tell us why you believe it is yes. Ron DeSantis Correct. who the Republican Party needs going forward? And what is the strategy, as you see it, to beat Donald Trump? Sure. Well, look, I, I was in the administration. I appreciate the president and much of what he did. If he wins, he can only serve four more years. Governor DeSantis is the most uh, successful chief executive in the United States in a long time, period. Uh, he's the most popular Republican just in likability across America right now. He has enormous upside. And his accomplishments as a chief executive have been spectacular and his winning record is virtually unmatched in the United States and it's with coattails which is part of why it's unmatched he has demonstrated an ability to help his entire team including right down to school boards including in tough territory like Miami-Dade County and these are people judging his conservative accomplishments where he did not apologize for being a conservative and never backing down uh, Mr. Cuginelli, hey, it's Chris Steyerwald. Uh, so, question. I Chris. saw an ad that said that Donald Trump wanted to cut Social Security and Medicare, too. Uh, and it was a clip from a town hall from some other network. I don't know which one. Uh, no, but it was a clip from a town hall, and it was Donald Trump saying that there would be cuts. Um, this back and forth around the question of entitlements and Social Security and eventual changes. This has been a toxic issue for Republicans in the last couple of cycles. How should, uh, how should DeSantis be thinking about this? How are you guys thinking about this? So first of all, because we're a super PAC, we do follow the leader. We don't speak to policy. We take the governor's positions and advocate for him and for those positions because we believe he's demonstrated such good judgment over the years, 10 years of consistency and solid good judgment. Um, this, is a, this is an issue the president tried to attack the governor on. It really went nowhere, partly because of the president's own history on this and partly because the whole question of Social Security is a bit of a financial trap, and I don't say that as a trick, it's just math. Um, you know. We're closing in on what the, the trustees say is the end of the line for that money. So this is going to be a tough issue for every single candidate, regardless of what position they take. But I fully expect the governor, if he gets in this race, as I hope, will stay consistent as he has over the years. And he'll do, as he said, and uh, work to, to, to put Social Security in the best possible position he can. Hey, Ken, I, we got to go, but I got to ask you real quick. May 11th, do we expect Ron DeSantis to, uh, to, to move forward with the next step on May 11th? There's some, some talk that he might. Uh, well, I don't know about that date. I, I don't even know for sure that he'll get in. I've never seen anybody do the things he's doing and not run, and we sure want him in. Um, okay. When you said May 11th, I thought you were going to ask me about the takedown of Title 42, and the governor's been great on immigration <laughs> as well. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a different issue, level. and uh, yeah, no, that's a different issue, and, and we got to keep it there. Ken Cuccinelli, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Well, coming up here uh, tonight. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.